Some of you guys messaged me and asked me this. How do I create a brush for a logo? Hi there, this is Anish from Pixel Perfect. So today we're gonna create a brush for the logo of Adobe. So the first thing, if you have your logo in PNG format, which means that if it has a transparent background, better than good and better than most. But I have all the examples to help you create logos brushes for logos, whether it's a color logo, whether it's a black and white logo, whether it's a multicolor logo, whatever it is, we're gonna create a brush for it. So let's go ahead and import the Adobe logo. It's a PNG file, so great. It has already has a transparent background. So I'm dragging and dropping it into Photoshop. Already, I just wanted to say you that if you have already an image open here and if you call drag and drop into Photoshop something, here it will just open up that logo in that image in that document and you don't want that to happen, right? If you have already something open in Photoshop, here's what you have to do. Drag it and drop it here, right? When it says copy on the right bottom of the mouse, just drop it. Now, it has a transparent background, great. So let's create a white background. So to create a white background, create an adjustment layer, solid color, choose white. Also, one other way of making it non-transparent is making it a background layer, but we are not going to do this. Why? We'll understand right now. So easy. To create a brush in Photoshop, all you have to do, remember this, all you have to do is create a black and white image and save that as a brush. As simple as that. Now what is that? I'll just explain you. Now next what you have to do, you have to go to solid color again, select the black, Click OK, press and hold alter option, click on that line between this layer and that layer. Done. Done. Your logo is done. All you have to do now is to edit, define brush preset and name it adobe.png, whatever, name it adobe, ypng. Click OK and there you have your brush ready. When you select the brush, take the adobe brush, all right, all right. Just create a new layer maybe and then Paint with a brush, maybe there, 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 there. You can select any color you want, red. You can select any color, green. Isn't this beautiful? Now let's understand some theories behind it. The theory here is this. Some of you might ask, we are creating a black and white version of the brush. I wanted the white version, I wanted to paint white. Now here's the thing. These black and white things are not color. These are just opacities right? Wherever there is white, opacity is zero. Wherever there is black, 100% black, opacity is 100%. Now the opacity of what? Opacity of the colors that you choose in the foreground and the background. These brushes respond to the color which is in the foreground and the background, have no color information of their own. All right, so let's create a new brush. Let me give you an example of how this works. Just the theory part. All right, nerds, um, not nerds, non-nerds just skip to the area where we create multicolor brush. So right now for the nerds who want to know how it is ap applicable and how it all works, stay put. Okay, so new file, new. Guys, I'm not editing this video, so there are a lot of ums and ahs, so just ignore that. So we create something like thousand by thousand pixels maybe thousand by thousand pixel, maybe 500 will do our job, depending upon the resolution of brush you want. If you want a high resolution brush, put a high number, right? I'm gonna put thousand by thousand, 300 RGB color, everything is great, working RGB, sRGB, create. Now here's the thing guys, think about resolutions. If you create a low resolution brush, for example, if you had gone to file, if you have chosen something like 100 by 100, and if you had created brush in that size, and if you had painted with that brush and made brush a little larger, brush will pixelate. So make sure you have a good resolution of the brush, at least 600, 700, thousand is a good range to be in. Now, for example, suppose we are creating a brush of, Okay, let's create a brush. So suppose, oops, this is our logo. Just suppose for fun, this is our logo. This, this is a strange thing, this doesn't mean anything, but just for fun, let's suppose this is our logo. I'm gonna take an eraser maybe. Where is the eraser? There it is. Take an eraser, make it hard, and just erase the particular logo area. Suppose this is what our look, right? And there's a tip, how to draw a straight line with any brush kind of tool. Just click once, press and hold shift, click at the other end, there you go. Suppose this is our logo. 
and let's make it a little bigger there you go now when you save this as a brush this doesn't mean that the brush will paint black and white this only means that the brush will paint with 100% opacity in the area which is black and 0% opacity at the areas which is white now what does opacity mean? Some of you guys say, I am new to Photoshop, I know what opacity is. Now here's the thing for those guys, for you guys, special you guys. Wherever there is 100% black, the intensity of the color you choose to brush with will be 100%. Wherever it is 100% white, the intensity of the color you choose to paint with will be 0%. Got the idea? For example, if I have say gray hairs, if I create something like gray hairs here, oops, create a new layer, take the brush, rubber is chosen, take the brush, create a new layer, make just paint some gray hairs, right? Some gray hairs just for fun, okay? Now, if I define this as a brush, it will not paint with uh, black and gray or something like that. What it will paint with, I'll, I'll just show you. Let's define it as a brush. Define brush preset. Fun. Right? Click OK. Now what you do, you create a new layer and just turn all of these off. And choose a color, maybe red. And just paint with it. Watch. The areas that were gray, what has what we have done to that area, how is that area painted? That area is painted pink. That's not pink, you know what's that? That's red with decreased opacity. That's not pink, that's red with decreased opacity. Now if I have a say, blue background or something like that, say maybe a yellow background, let's create a yellow background, and if I paint with the same red watch, it becomes orange, which means that this is red with decreased opacity. In this image, let's do the same thing. Create a new layer, just paint with that. Watch. These areas are what? Transparent. Oops. Transparent. I'm so sorry, Andres Vargas. It's his image. <laughs> Didn't want to destroy it. Oh, all right. Now, that's how you create a logo. Your job is to have, make your logo a solid color black on a white background. And you have to have a good resolution. All right, so now what to do if you have a colored logo, right? Um, let's open up a colored logo. This is an image that I pulled off from freepig.com. This is a great source for free graphics. So make sure you log into freepig.com. All right, so we need to make a logo of this one. Now here's the thing guys, you cannot have color information in brushes. It corresponds to what? It corresponds to the color that you choose in the foreground and the background right so you cannot have that so we need to make a brush of this we need to make this a solid color okay make this just just change the brush <laughs> we need to make this a solid color so to do this let's first just crop it out just crop it out we just want us to crop it out all right crop tool hit enter pretty much good now you don't have to worry about it being in the center make sure all of it is selected now our job is to make it black to make it black what to do well, you can first take away all the colors. To take away all the colors, simple. Image adjustments, desaturate, gone. Now, if you wanna paint in something like this, if you're satisfied with something like this, okay, go ahead with it. You can go ahead uh, with this one. You can try, edit, define brush preset, you can save it. Now, try painting with this one here. If it's looking good to you, take the brush. If it's looking good to you, great. If it's... Uh, if that's something you want, you can go with it. It still has all the shades, but you cannot get all the colors in the same brush. That's done. But if you want totally solid something, what you can do, you can select these and fill it up with black, right? So there are a lot of ways to do it, right? So you can do this using going to say, selecting all the whites and selecting the opposite. So that you can do that. So select the quick selection tool and select all the whites. Now, Control shift i this selects the opposite of that, and fill it up with black. Make sure your foreground color is black to make it to the, bring it to the default, press D, it becomes black and white. Okay, if it's white, press X to toggle between black or white, and then press Alt and Backspace. If you're using a Mac, it's Option and Delete. Fill it up with black, done, done. Now you can have a brush for this. Another way of doing this is using the Magic Wand tool, and select all the whites, uh, select this layer, okay, first, select all the whites, 
that's easier, right? But sometimes it's not easy when you have closed logos, you have to select the inside of the logos and then Control Shift I and then Alt Backspace. Good. Now, if whole of the logo is not being selected, you can try and play with the tolerance and the magic wand tool. Also, there's one more way. There are a lot of ways of doing this. Select a solid, make a solid color adjustment layer, black, right click on solid color adjustment layer, go to blending mode, or what you can do, click, double click on the right hand side, this will open up the blending modes, and then take the slider of the underlying layer from the right to the left. Stop at this point, done. Done, isn't this amazing, right? Click OK once you're satisfied and then create the brush okay a lot of ways of doing it you can choose any way you want i'm going uh, i'm giving you a lot of ways i don't know which one will work for you so there you have it so let's go ahead and create the brush and we have it go to edit define brush preset click okay and then take the brush and just paint over it oops create a new layer uh i chose the spot healing brush i don't know why take the brush and you can paint over what you want there you go, logos, room full of logos. Isn't this interesting? Now here's one more thing. Let me show you something. I just was having fun and I created this with my logo. I just was having fun with the brush and uh, I just created it. Wanna know how to create it? All right, so let's go ahead and create this one. Let's just not delete it because I might lose it. I might not be able to create it again. So create a new layer simple. Take the brush, so I have this logo, I just created this logo of me. And what to do with the logo to have that kind of effect? Simple. Press D to have the black and white in the foreground color, white is the foreground, black is the background. So make that, and then what you do, go to image, sorry, windows, and then brush. Then play with these settings. Okay, check the shape, shape dynamics. Increase the size shader. This is how it will paint, okay? Control. You don't need the control, that's okay. Okay, or you can have fade, something like this, okay? I'm keeping it off. And then you can have something like um, maybe scattering, increase the scattering, wow. Paint with it, isn't that amazing? Now, check color dynamics, this is the fun part. Increase the foreground background jitter to 100%, now watch. It paints in gray and white. Right? Isn't that interesting? Now you can have a city like this. Isn't this fun? This is like a movie. Of, have you watched the movie Pixels? It's just like that. Okay? And then you can play with other things as well, like fade, as I told you before. You can have something like this. Maybe. Maybe you created something like this. City having fun. Now, once you create it, Something like that. Once you create all this stuff, now you can increase the size of the brush and play with it, right? And then change the blend mode from normal to screen. There you have it, decrease the opacity. Isn't this fun? Now you can always change the hue saturation of this. So create a new layer, hue saturation, and change the saturation or, or check the colorize, okay? Now you can colorize it the way you want, but it's been applied all over the photo. We don't want that, click on this. This will add a clipping mask only to this one, and that way you will just be able to affect that. Isn't this fun? So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you have to subscribe. I know some of you already are, but if you have not, you gotta share this with your friends. You have to, that's a compulsion. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust Search but you stay lost We are